And as you know, the 3DS is almost here, so that means the DS is going bye-bye. So to commemorate the DS, I decided to name the top 5 DS games of all time in my own personal opinion. So let's start off with number 5, Retro Game Challenge. If you haven't played Retro Game Challenge, I'm afraid it's out of print, and there's a supposedly a sequel, but it's, I don't think it's coming to the US. This is a fun, fun game. What it does is that it has parodies of old school games, and it basically relives the childhood of an 80s kid. And you basically just play through the games, do specific challenges, stuff like you do for achievements, like get to level this without shooting this, or, you know, go through these laps without hitting anybody. Stuff you do for achievements, but it's all on old school retro parody games. It's really fun. I've had tons of fun with it. I really think it's an incredible addition to any collection, but unfortunately, I don't even think this is available anywhere anymore. I know it's not at Walmart anymore, and I got this out of a uh, FYE that was actually shutting down. They were selling this, and that's the only way I got this game, and I was looking for it everywhere. It's an incredible game. I really wish the company would bring out the sequel in the United States, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Number four. Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. I love this game. This is honestly my second favorite Grand Theft Auto. It's extremely well done. It combines all the great things about the DS along with all the great things with about Grand Theft Auto. It has one of the funnest mini games ever, which is drug dealing. I mean, it, they, they did it so well. And I, I was addicted to drug dealing for a long time. I've... It took me forever to beat the story just because the drug dealing part was so fucking distracting. But it's an incredible addition to any collection. And if you don't have a DS, it is on the PSP and the iOS platforms. Tetris DS. This is a phenomenal game. And I think Nintendo made the poorest decision of the entire DS life by canceling prints of this. Honestly, this... If this game was packaged with every DS, it would sell even more. Even though the DS doesn't have sell, you know, sales problems, I think that this is the best game for any DS owner. It combines all the great elements of Tetris, along with about two or three new modes, and one of the best online multiplayers for the entire platform. I've had so much fun, both local, you know, with the local connection on the DS and online, playing this game. This game is phenomenal. I I know they made a, a similar version of it for the PS3, for the PlayStation Network, and it has the online, but I really think the push and touch modes were also amazing, and the uh, puzzle solving modes, which has like a Dr. Mario theme to it. And it, it's awesome, because it's all themed with Mario. It's all decked out with classic Nintendo characters. I don't know why they made it out of print. Maybe there was licensing issues since EA took a hold of Tetris and they own it now. And Nintendo didn't have any funds over it. I don't know. But that had to be one of the poorest decisions. Because this is a game that would sell forever. And it is definitely worth 30 bucks. Meteos. Meteos. Even though Tetris is great, this is the best DS puzzle game ever. Even though there's no online, it was before all that, it is incredible. In fucking credible. Just the way you use the stylus with the uh, with the blocks and it's just it's such a hard game to describe, but it's easily one of the best games on the entire platform. And unfortunately, another game that's out of print. They stopped printing it because it sold poorly. Um <coughs> they did make a Disney remake of it, but I heard it's really crappy. And they made a sequel on Xbox Live Arcade, but I played the trial and it was really shitty. It's really shitty without the um, stylus. But it is one of the best game puzzle games on the platform. It's incredibly fun. My only complaint is that after the single player, it's kind of shitty. But it does have awesome four-player multiplayer and you only need one game card. And I've had tons of fun with this with my friends. And it, it is... A huge challenge to Tetris. In my opinion, it's a wetter, way, way better game. And it's unfortunate that this did not come out when Wi-Fi was, was available. Because if you didn't know, 
the DS came out in 2004, but there was no Wi-Fi until 2005. With, and I think the launch game was Mario Kart DS. But this is a game you should check out. You really have to check out Medios because if you can find a copy, I mean, it's a rare game. It is a rare game, I'm not going to lie. The original's rare. Um, Disney one is somewhere out there. I don't know if the Disney one's good or not. I have no idea, no clue. But the original Medios has to be one of the best DS games I've ever played. And it's just fun. You take over planets with your planet. It's like, it has this weird thing. It's not just a puzzle game. It's like this galactic story takeover. I went through it. I went through the entire game with every character in the roster. And it, it's just a fantastic game. Even the different elements of characters kind of play differently. There's just such a, a level of depth that I've never seen in a puzzle game before with Meteos. <coughs> and last but not least. I'm sorry, I have a bit of a cold. My favorite DS game of all time is Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl is the best bang for your buck. It has the longest storyline of any Pokemon game. Not only that, but it also has way more to do after than any other Pokemon game, including Pokemon Black and White. And not only this, but it does also have just... It has connectability with your, any of your Game Boy Advance Pokemon games. And I guess I'll throw in Platinum there. I haven't played Platinum, so I have nothing to say about it. But this is definitely the bang for your buck, best Pokemon game. And it's also... And this is the best version. If you have to choose out of any of the DS versions, whether it be Black, Diamond, or S Soul Silver, it's definitely Diamond. Diamond just has the greatest wealth of Pokemon... The longest storyline, just, just so much to do. There's even like a fossil mini game that me and my friends used to play. It was really fun. And that's how you got the, um, the, the fossil type Pokemon. And it, it's just, it was just a really interesting take. It used all the DS's features, every single one, microphone, Wi-Fi. You know, it, it's just incredible the amount of death that this game had. My only complaint with all DS Pokemon games, including Black and White. Is that the save time is fucking ridiculous. It's almost 30, 40 seconds. Come on, guys. Really? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That Those are my favorite DS games. I know I wasn't really good on the accurate, you know, explanations, but I tend to dr drone on about these games. These are an incredible game for an inc these are incredible games for an incredible system, and it's been in a great, great seven years, Nintendo. I really wish you would have treated the Wii like you treated the DS. Because the DS had great titles up until death. Right now, last year and the year before, the Wii kind of sucked. But what you gonna do? Samuel out.